Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with the Shave Stop and GeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video, and this is an update, a progress report, so to speak, an update video of my adventure in wet shaving and the different blades I've been using and um, how they've come to adapt to my skin, my skin to them, that sort of thing. These are the blades that I've been using. You see them right in front of you right here. And uh, I've got a couple of others here. Um, of course, my razor of choice is the Vikings Blade Godfather. And when you buy one of these, it's got a terrific case. Um, here it is right here. It's very forgiving, low profile head. You've heard me talk about it before. Uh, it comes with five blades. And uh, the company describes these blades as being neutral. Now, I have one of these already pulled out. And that's it right there. So this is the blade that comes with the Godfather razor and it is a neutral blade it gets the job done it's pretty good um nothing really to write home about uh, but it is a nice efficient uh blade so if you're a beginning uh wet shaver uh this is a great razor to buy because uh, these blades are neutral and then you can kind of you know use that as your watermark so to speak and go from there now i don't know if these blades are identical to the Bally blade that I sometimes get with uh, some razors that I buy, um, you know, because I've been reviewing some razors and they throw in different blades. Um, and I've got some of these Bally uh, blades laying around. I've tried these. And I don't know if there's much difference, but this is not a bad uh, uh, blade. It's made in China. And uh, it's pretty good, but again, it's not that memorable. So um, if you get them uh, with a razor that you happen to buy, whether it's this one with the Godfather razor or this one with some other brand, um, you know, you're, you're, they're not going to give you a, a, a too memorable of a shave, but a good, good starting razor. So I just wanted to mention that and kind of get that out of the way. So let's just review uh, the different razors, the different blades that I've been using. The Feather razor blades, incredibly, incredibly sharp. I still have a few of these left and this is the only razor that I will use the feather blades in because they're sharp and many people say that there's, they're just downright dangerous. I will not use them in any other razor other than this. Now that's because my skin does border on the sensitive side. It's not sensitive, but I know enough not to push my luck. So if I pull out one of these, it's always going to be used in the Godfather razor. And I'm going to make sure I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. Even though the Godfather is a very forgiving razor, with these, with these blades, I still want to uh, be careful. Now, if you have a really thick beard and you've got tougher skin than mine, boy, these will be perfect, especially in that razor or any other razor that you have. These will be great. This will really, really give you a great shape. But for me... I got to be rather careful. Um, Wilkinson sword, again, nice and sharp, but there's a rough sharpness to them. Uh, I don't use these as much as I should. Um, they're okay. If it was the last razor blade I had in the cabinet, yeah, I would use it. But again, I would pay attention to what I'm doing and I would really watch myself. Um, Astra blades. These are made in Russia. They're, by the, they're made by the Gillette Company in Russia. And uh, I have found that these blades are very, very good. They are very, very smooth. They give you a very efficient shave. And um, I like the platinum coating. And uh, really, this was my go-to razor, uh, my go-to blade for a long, long time uh, when I first started wet shaving. When I found these, this was the, this was the blade I was, I was using um, because I thought this was the best blade. And then I found these. Somebody on YouTube was talking about them, or I saw it in an Amazon re re uh, review, I can't remember. But these Persona Blue double-edged blades are wonderful. And you can see right here, they're comfort coated. Again, I don't know if that's a platinum coating or a, or a Teflon coating. I don't know. But boy, are these smooth. The shaves are just absolutely wonderful. Really, really, really like these a lot. A um, hundred of them right now are about $17.50 on Amazon. 
They my bottom when they were about 12 or 13 bucks. So they have gone up in price, but they're made in America. So, you know, if you want to uh, buy an American made product, then this is definitely the one to go with. And it really is a good quality product. But wait one minute. Just the other day, I decided to change things up. And again, I don't know if my skin has adapted. It's gone through a training phase. I don't know because I wasn't really too crazy about these Derby extras. Uh, and then I put one in just the other morning and wow, what a shave I got. These, these were really smooth, really nice. Just, I mean, I got a, a nice BBS shave from, from this blade. I was really surprised. Now it could be because my technique has improved. Uh, my skin has adapted to wet shaving. Um, you know, the different creams that I've used, I'm using higher, higher quality uh, shaving creams. A lot of those factors come into play, but wow, this, these, these blades were really, really good. So really, if I had to rate these things, uh, if I had to rate them by use, I would put the feather there, followed by the Wilkinson, and then the Astra and the Derby would probably be tied for a second. And, um, you know, the, these neutral blades here, uh, those are the introductory introductory blades. So those are kind of in the background there. But really, these two are tied for second. Now, the Derby blades are made in Turkey. They're made in Turkey, and a hundred of them are just over eight dollars. So wow, is that inexpensive? I mean, that is that's crazy inexpensive compared to the Persona, which are seventeen fifty, of course. These are made in Turkey. These are made in the United States. Um, but uh, my gosh, for eight bucks, these give you a, a great, great shaves. Um, I think 200 of them are probably 15 bucks, whereas 200 here in the Persona are, I think, just under $20. So that's a really good price for the Persona for 200 blades. I mean, that's right in the ballpark with the Derby at the 200 price point. So. Um, you know, really, either of these, I recommend either of these. And really, I was really, really surprised by the Derby Extra. Green label on the package. They have a blue label, an orange label, and a green label. Uh, I don't know if there's any difference, but um, I went with the green label. And the other thing that's really nice about the Derby, one more thing is, is when you buy a razor, you're going to get one of two... Um, packs of razor blades with that razor. Um, you're going to either going to get the Derby or you're going to get the Astra. Uh, sometimes you do get the Bally, but for the most part, you get the Astra or the Derby. And now that I know that the Derby is, is this good, I've got some, my gosh, I probably got about, uh, oh, I got enough, you know, to shave with really because of the, some of the, some of the razors that I've purchased and have reviewed for the channel. So, that's it. That's just an update as to uh, my progress as a wet shaver and the, and, the, and the different blades I've been using. So uh, really here, my top three right here. Persona's number one, and these are tied for number two. Um, and I'm giving a slight edge to the Derby. Really, really very good. Feather, if you've got a thick beard and you've got tough skin, yeah, you're going to like this a lot. Wilkinson, probably in the same league, but not as smooth, kind of rough. And again, Godfather Razor, great razor to buy, very forgiving, especially for beginners. And they've got some really, really forgiving neutral blades that go with it to get you started on your wet shaving adventure. Hey, that's it. I hope uh, that was informative. Uh, thanks for viewing. Please subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Let me know what kind of razor blades you're using and if you agree with what I've said here. Um, and if you have any other razor blades you want me to try, tell me why. I will be more than happy to try them, review them, and talk about them on the channel. Also, visit my blog, georgetune.com slash blog, for great cartoons, comic strips, and videos like this. Thanks again. I'll talk to you real soon.